Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen. We are out and about today. We're going to be doing some thrifting at one of my favorite places to go, Sisters Junktique Vintage Market here in Haines City, Florida. This is just down the road from me and I love coming to this location. There's multiple vendors here to choose from, so you can find an array of items from really beautiful antiques to tchotchkes. This beautiful little teapot here is only $6, and many vendors um, also repurpose furniture, paint them, and make them look like brand new. They also have some items that are brand new, like those sheets there. But my daughter and I, and I are out just kind of looking perhaps for some new furniture. I'm thinking of changing around my bedroom furniture, but I already have a French provincial style of furniture. Although I love this dresser, I'm, not, I'm wanting to switch up my bedroom furniture, maybe going for a more mid-century modern look to it um, in the future. I do love this pair of paintings here for $24. This would look really good in my dining room. Something to think about there. Love the color on it. This mirror here was $49. Very ornate. In this, uh, it's a dresser, but you can use this in a dining room. They do have it listed as a buffet uh, armoire type of item. For $450, it's been painted and the top has been refinished. I'm always on the lookout for little step stools to put my plants on or to use <laughs> because I am vertically challenged and just to kind of step on it and um, be able to reach things. So those are always things that are on the radar for me. Here's a cute little trinket box with a bunny on it. That was $9. Now the Green Rocker is a vendor that's here and I follow them on Facebook. They do repurpose furniture. They do a wonderful job. I really like this stool here. This was $55. Really nicely done. And they have a nice assortment of desks. I love this hutch here or this dresser with the mirror. It didn't have a price on it, but I later found out it was $250. And, you know, Art Deco may be something that I could go with uh, in my bedroom also. Lots of pottery to choose from. I like that they have their prices well displayed. Here's another vendor that has really nice furniture that's been painted. You know, it can be a lot of work to repaint and refurbish an item. So if you don't want to do it yourself, definitely looking to a location like this that's already has it done for you is great. My daughter and I at this point we're talking about this baker's rack because I am looking for some shelving for our dining room area to put uh, cookbooks and things like that and we're thinking of maybe a baker's rack may be the route to go but something to think about. And this vendor had a really nice selection of chickens all sorts of ceramic porcelain if you're really into <laughs> collecting chickens that's a great vendor to visit this little picture here 1695 with the blue ceramic here's another chicken This little teacup really caught my eye. So delicate and fine. It was $6. And I really love the lattice work on the saucer. And these little creamers were had an Art Deco look to them. They were uh, $6 each. Really pretty color. Mid-century look to them maybe. There's some blue uh, ceramic. You know how I am about blue and white ceramic. I love them. This leaf really caught my eye too. This would be great for um, a autumn decor or fall decor. That was $5. And this booth had a really nice assortment of vintage uh, salt and pepper shakers. These little uh, chicks here were $3 for the pair, but it had, they had a really nice assortment of different styles. 
I thought they were uh, reasonably priced also. That little dish there, beautiful pink rose, that was only $3. Little teapots are always nice to collect. This one here was $12 and $8 for this gold frame. This booth has some really nice items. I really like this picture here with the little watering cans. I couldn't get to it to see the price, but it was really nice. And they did a great job of painting these benches to put like in a patio area. I thought these were just wonderful. $38 and the painting is already done for you. Some beautiful um, blue willow style of plates. I don't think they were actually blue willow, but it was in that style. I did like this tin tray here. This was $15 and it was just really nice. I have a collection of those. This picture here was so heavy, I couldn't even pick it up. But a very primitive um, Americana look to it. It was $12. I really like these canisters here. I thought this was a good deal. They were a set of three with the lids and it was $20. I don't think that this decorative vase was part of the set. Um, it was $19, but it, the pattern seemed a little bit different, but it still went very well with it. Tucked away in this corner, they had the set of four soup bowls with lids, and those were $15. I thought that was a good deal. I know those are very collectible. This booth had a really nice assortment of glassware and crystalware. This cornucopia style of glass, very modern looking. It was $15. I thought that was really cool. And this platter down here was really beautiful also. And that was only $10. Had a nice uh, mid-century modern look to them. They also had a nice little selection of uh, vintage Disney wear too. And this little elephant tucked away back here caught my eye and he's only five dollars. I thought he was just so cute. I'd look to see if there was any type of marking on it, but I couldn't find any marking, but um, I thought it was a really good price, five dollars. And this gold filigree style teacup really caught my eye also. It was ten dollars for the cup and the saucer, not including the, the plate in the back. This booth had a beautiful selection of vintage teacups, and I'm always on the lookout for those. You can never have enough teacups, even though I'm a coffee drinker, but I love collecting them. This little teapot was cute, it was $8, but I think it's missing the cup below it. This little teapot here is really beautiful also, and that was $10, and the vibrancy on that one was beautiful. This blue really caught my eye, and that was only $6. Such a beautiful soft blue color with the yellow rose. These ceramic pieces here are absolutely gorgeous. $18 for this vase here. I didn't lift it to see the marking underneath, but oh, it was just gorgeous. This was very folk art look to it, this plate for $10. I thought that was really nice. $10 for this little vase. Really nice selection of um, vintage pottery and vases in this particular booth. And this enamelware jug was only $18. It looked like it was hand painted. Now this set of six plates for $14, they're actually to hang on the wall. They're not for eating. They're more decorative for hanging on the wall. I thought that was a good deal if you want to make a, a plate gallery that was only $14. I did like this wood tray with the, um, it looked like tin handles and that was $32. I think it may be a pewter. 
Now they had this beautiful dining room set, $315 for the table and the four chairs. It was in really good shape. I do believe it, it was pine, um, stained pine, but it was in great condition. This particular booth had some really nice furniture. Now this mid-century modern lamp, I had to stop in here and look. I have never seen a lampshade that tall, that big. My daughter was astounded. It was so beautiful. It was actually $125, but this was legitimate vintage mid-century modern lamp. And she really liked this decanter and set of glasses for $45. They looked in really good shape too. Here's another vintage lamp. Very, very um, mid-century modern. That one was $125 also. And they also had some really nice sets of um, Pyrex, complete sets. I'm not a collector, but I can see why people collect them. But this particular set here for the set of four was $215. So it must be a very rare set to find. And they had some really nice brass pieces too. This brass bowl here was um, $16. It was very heavy and some nice brass uh, napkin rings and those were $7.50. This little frame here was very heavy. It was solid wood. $27.50. I thought that one may be a little bit overpriced, but perhaps the artwork inside may be worth it. But I decided to leave it. I did love this yellow full-size chenille bedspread. It was $60, and I do love chenille bedspreads. I really like this hutch here. It's painted really nice. Now this vendor had a little bit more um, pieces that were modern that were repurposed or repainted so it's a nice selection I do love corner hutches too this is a beautiful one here it's two hundred and ten dollars I thought that one may be a little bit overpriced I like this basket here with the rope handles. That was only $14. And a nice selection of um, pillar candle holders, $20 and $14. Some, as you can see, some of these pieces are more modern, but in really good shape too. Now this um, vendor had a nice selection of vintage clocks in this little candy dish was only $10 milk glass candy dish with a lid and they had some salt and pepper shakers these were four dollars individually I also like this metal stand here that would be great for plants and that was only $18 this little covered uh, candy dish milk glass was reduced down to nine dollars has a nice hobnail design to it Lots of different ceramics, dishware. This is really unique. This looks like um, hand-painted pottery. And this was only $4. They did have this blue willow plate back here that's a divided plate. And I really don't see those too often, but I could not find a price on it. It was really unique. I do love wooden uh, spoon holders. In this one, shaped like a heart, was seven dollars. And this creamer and sugar bowl set was only fifteen dollars. Now this uh, little teacup here really caught my eye. It was eight dollars. I love the pedestal look to the cup itself that's really unique 
and I was really thinking about getting this one it's got a really shiny luster look to it but when I looked at the plate itself it had really been worn down so I decided not to get it this mixing bowl here enamelware mixing bowl was really unique with a chicken on it it was $22 I've never seen one like this it was a really good shape in a flour sifter this was in good shape also I really do like these these were eight dollars and it still had the tag on it too lots of kitchenware in this particular booth and they also sold uh, some candles now this little chair here this phone booth type of chair phone center was painted and um, a new seat on it it was eighty dollars i always love these i think they're such a unique piece uh, that you can use in your home for decor but eighty dollars may be a m bit much the secretary desk at fifty dollars though i thought was really great secretary desks are um it's just something i'm really interested in this one had some clean art deco lines to it for $50, I would even leave it just this color. I wouldn't even paint it. It was so unique, the lines on it. I like that canister set up top too. My daughter really liked this little picnic basket with the uh, Corel dinnerware inside for $25. She thought that was so cute. In this little set here, this little teapot set and sugar bowl, it said silver on it. Um, but it was very light so I'm not sure if it was very good silver I do like this chippy table here and that was $25 and here I'm talking to my daughter about this piece of uh, furniture here that would look good in our dining room as far as for like a buffet hutch another place to store things or to put things on top of and I also um, thought the price was pretty good at 125 they have it listed as a TV cabinet but it can definitely go into a dining room or use it as a TV stand this pot here for $35 was very unique that's very on trend now and they had this set of three bar stools for $80. They're solid wood. You can easily paint those. And I did like this little framed artwork here for the kitchen. It was $12, $20. That would look nice in the kitchen. I love this little boho rattan uh, wall art shelf. That was $38. Those are very popular now and they can be um, very hard to find. I thought this little box here was so cute with the lemons on it and it was $18. $125 for this very nice, very ornate mirror. And this round table with the four chairs i think originally it was oak and it was painted white i could not find a price on it but it was very nice i wasn't too sure what this was here this brass piece it almost looked like a very big ashtray it was 52 dollars. it was heavy so i'm not quite sure what it was but i do like this huge basket here $48. You can put umbrellas in there, canes, whatever. Nice display piece. This shelf here for $30 really caught my eye because it was right in line with what I was looking for to put in either our dining room or our breakfast nook coffee area. And they had this one up here that was green that was $32. And this nice mirrored archway that was $48. Very nice. 
I really love this set of canisters. It was um, the canister salt and pepper shakers for $42. I thought that was a good deal. Very vibrant colors, perfect for spring and summer. Well, let's see what I ended up getting. And you know me, friends. I could not leave this little guy behind. At $5 only, I thought he was such a good deal. There's no visible markings or labels on him, so I have no idea who made him or where he came from, but I'm so glad he's here. He is so cute, and he goes perfectly with the rest of my blue and white uh, pottery and blue delft and blue willow. It just fits perfectly in here, so it's a great a piece to add to that collection as you can see I can have them here in this corner hutch or move them over to the center of my dining room table but I'm really glad that I picked them up I thought it was a great deal in our little breakfast nook area coffee bar area I did place this white shelf that I got it was $30 and Although originally I wanted a shelf to put some um, cookbooks on, this one ended up being a little too narrow, not deep enough to hold books, but I just loved it. I didn't want to leave it behind, and I think it looks great here in this little uh, coffee area. We used to have just pictures here, and I think this just you know looks so much better to display some collectibles, some of my artwork, and some of my favorite mugs that I've received uh, as gifts over the years. If you enjoyed this video, friends, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I appreciate that so very much. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because I am going to be redoing some more of my um, rooms here, um, dining room, bedroom, all sorts of projects coming up. So you don't want to miss out on those. Thanks so much, friends. I'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.